less time in the airport than they absolutely had to. This is not just unconventional travel, this is extreme travel. And right now, it's the most critical time of year for people who do this because they are trying desperately to beat that end of the year deadline. A wild sky-high endurance race with fierce warriors crisscrossing the globe. I went to Beijing for a day. Their mission, miles. Lots and lots of them. Once you get started, it's kind of like a bug. It's called a mileage run. Trips where the journey, not the destination, is the sole objective. Mile masochist, who you might consider crazy. After all, why would you ever spend more time in an airport or airplane than you possibly had to? Is this sport for you? It's a game. Gaming the system by finding cheap fares with long routes to accrue airline status levels, perks, and most importantly, frequent flyer miles for future freebies. To know me is to fly with me. Think up in the air. The miles are the goal. Ryan Cohen seeks out extreme itineraries. I went from Atlanta to Pittsburgh to Watertown, New York to Pittsburgh to Denver, then Santa Ana to San Francisco to Pittsburgh back to Atlanta for less than $75. Too good to be true. It happened. Howie Rappaport's on board, or he's about to be, for three days in the year. In my quest to travel for free and to make travel a bit more comfortable, it's important to, to get those upgrades. It's important to have that status. To get it, Howie found a ticket he says anyone can buy. It will take him on six flights halfway around the world for a total fare of $665, a bargain considering. We had him take a camera along for the wild ride. My first flight is from D.C. to Atlanta. Okay, simple enough. At the gate about 20 minutes early. Now it's on to New York. About four and a half hours into my bio drug. Right off to Istanbul, a 10-hour trip. My upgrade cleared, and I'll hopefully get a good night's sleep. Half a day in Turkey, and how he's back on a flight to Paris. I think I'm running on a little bit of uh, adrenaline right now. No time for the Eiffel Tower. He's only got an hour before leaving for Salt Lake City. Another 12 hours in the air. 54 and a half hours in. We caught up with him uh, there in Utah, where there was just one flight to go. Salt Lake to Baltimore. In all, Howie traveled a mind-blowing 14,000 miles. But with elite bonuses, he's earned 30,000 plus. Enough to propel him to Delta's diamond level in 2013. And he'll eventually use those miles to travel for free. There are hundreds of thousands of people that do this. Howie blogs about his travel tricks and says the online forum on flyertalk.com is a treasure trove for extreme frequent flyers who constantly monitor new fares for low-cost, long hauls. We're trying to beat the system. I've been to 65 different countries using these techniques. Rick Ingersoll, known as the frugal travel guy, hosts seminars on how to travel on the cheap, like the Atlanta to Honolulu trip he took with wife Kate for $152 round trip. He loves the game. He loves the chase. And chasing miles is like a drug for these folks, with inevitable side effects. I'm exhausted. But fatigue's a small price to pay, says Howie. It is a thrill. Every time I get on a flight, it's a new experience, and it's kind of amazing. So how do you find fares like this? Bottom line, you have to invest a lot of time, you have to monitor the travel blogs, you have to set fare alerts, and if you find a steal, you have to buy it immediately because they go within minutes. And then, Savannah, there's all that time you actually have to spend taking the flight. Yeah, you gotta oh, be I'm really exhausted. motivated, oh, Janet. Thank you so much. You know, talk